breaking news. Pla bed off platforms have been having fights over train seats. The traffic between Biddulph and Sittingbourne has just been getting worse and worse. And more coming on to the, on this morning's Transport Fever Turn News. Starting us off this morning. Morning last night, 80, 85 people were taken to Biddulph General Hospital due to fights on Biddulph Platform 3. Trains heading towards Chorleywood have been filled up before they reach the platform. Over 100 people have been waiting here. Both, Biddulph, both Transport Biddulph and the British Transport Police have released statements of this. Transport Biddulph have said it, the fights have been have been chaotic over the past few days. He's, the fights have just been going mental. Until there's no good, no reason that these fights should be happening, which is why we need more British Transport Police at the station. The British Transport Police said the fights last night led to ambulance, 15 ambulances being called to Biddulph Railway Station. The station is really busy. Is it on platform three with 85 injured. Two, injured? All 15 ambulances managed to take them to hospital. However, we need to reinforce the station on platform three specifically. Is it specifically for or that platform and more British Transport Police there? If you have any more information on this, please do not hesitate to let us know. Moving south of Biddulph, Biddulph. We get to the small village of Sittingbourne. Sittingbourne is actually this this we this station on the screen now is actually Sittingbourne station. It is served by light rail and heavy rail. Heavy rail calls on platform three. Light rail calls on platforms one slash two. Now traffic and the reason that these like this light rail system exists is due to traffic congestion between here and Biddulph. The lights rail screen uses small DLR stock supplied by Transport for London. Transport for London said anything to help the traffic congestion. Question. But the bit of transport congestion, the bit of congestion, sorry, has been worsening even when there's a perfectly fine light rail scheme in place and buses as well this this scheme has been successful for all of 30 people all of 30 people well done biddle transport biddle you succeeded maybe now another non-breaking news is recently trans a few years ago transport biddle announced their new route going between i think it's bilston wigan and Wigan and connecting them two together and then connecting those two to Biddulph. Then it connects Bridgewater to those three other places. These new routes, you have Class 800s or Azumas. These trains are very quick and but not as quick as the Pendolinos. The Pendolinos speed up and down the main line. In line as well, however they are now get starting to get held up by the local trains too. They connect the south to the north, north via Biddles, and those through the three biggest cities according to city stats, and transport Biddles, obviously. When this route was announced back in 2015, nobody believed in it. However, with the support of of LNER, London North Eastern Railway, and Trans and Transpennine Express (TPE). The Transport Biddulf actually had a chance at doing this, doing this, which is how they did it. They, they helped LNER and TPE help them with this. Anyway, that will wrap it up for today's report. 
tune in later. Tune in tomorrow for, for more just new, just general news around the Biddle area. Thank you for watching.